But Dick McDick Productions presents Little Quicks 4, an ode to oats. In case you do not know who I am or where I am from, this is Quick Dick McDick coming to you from Saskatchewan here today with our fourth episode of Little Quicks. Now, you should all know the rules by now, but in case you don't, Little Quicks episodes are made just for kids, so parents can take five and leave the work up to Quick Dick and his Little Quicks for some fun and some learning. Now, this time on Little Quicks, seeing as how it's agriculture month here in Saskatchewan, why don't we have a look at one of Quick Dick's favorite things to eat for breakfast? <laughs> oh! Oh, Quick Dick's got a good idea! Welcome to Cooking with Quick Dick, where we learn how to make something delicious and you don't need a sharp utensil or the stove. Listen, Little Quicks, if you're like Quick Dick, you absolutely love pumpkin pie, you just had Thanksgiving, and you are not ready to say goodbye to it yet. Unless you're watching in the USA, then you haven't had Thanksgiving yet. This still applies. But Quick Dick is going to show you how to have pumpkin pie for breakfast. Pumpkin pie for breakfast? Pumpkin pie for breakfast. Actually, it's not pumpkin pie, but it's kind of like pumpkin pie and it tastes just as good. It's one of Quick Dick's favoritists. So, you are going to need two containers, 500 mils each, one for your wet ingredients, one for your dry ingredients. And we are going to start with two thirds of a cup of old fashioned slow cooked large flake oats. Two thirds of a cup of oats. Did you know Saskatchewan produces about two million tons of oats each year? Quick Dick knew he loved oats for a reason. Two million tons? That is a lot of oats. Can anyone tell Quick Dick where these oats come from? From the cupboard, Quick Dick. <laughs> No, no, no. I mean before that. From the grocery store, Quick Dick. No, no, no. I mean even before that. We don't know, Quick Dick. Do you want Quick Dick to show you? Yeah! Well, oats usually start off as a seed and then it takes a farmer and a farm to grow them. Step one, the farmer. Now, there's a whole bunch of complicated steps to it, but we're not gonna go through all of them. We're just gonna keep it really easy. First thing we need to do is we need to take oat seeds, and then in the springtime, we're gonna put them into one of these big fellas back here, and we're gonna plant them in the dirt. It looks kinda like this when we do it. takes care of the heat and the water, hopefully, and we help her out with a little bit of fertilizer and a few different kinds of sprays to keep away weeds, bugs, and diseases. And then after we plant the oats, they look like, like that. But these oats are gonna need a little bit of time to grow. So once they grow, they look like this. But they're not quite ready to harvest yet. They're too green. They need to ripen, kind of like a banana. And once they turn gold, then it's time to harvest them. They look kind of like... Kind of like this. Now most of the time in the fall when you get oats looking like this, the next step is to swath them. So we're gonna do that using one of these big boys called a swather. It's kind of like mowing your lawn and putting it into a big row. It looks a little bit like this. So once our oats get swathed, it looks something kinda like this. Now inside of these big swaths are a whole bunch of oat plants, but we don't want the whole plant. All we want is just the oats right off the top of it. So we're gonna need a combine. So as we can see here, the oats go into the front of the combine and then they're gonna move their way down into the middle of the combine. That's 
where they get separated and you can see the combine throws the straw out the back and it puts the oats up at the top of the combine. <laughs> see? So now they gotta come out of the combine and go into a grain cart. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Now comes the best part. We get to take them out of the grain cart and put them into... Hey Blue Ball! Hey Blue Ball! Hey Blue Ball! Oh hey Blue Ball! Hey Blue Ball! Now remember, the oats come out of the combine into the grain cart like this, and then they go out of the grain cart into Blue Ball like this. Oh hey Blue Ball! Now most of the time the oats have got to go into a bin. So we'll take an auger like that, set it up into a bin, and put the oats into the bin. And then when the time is right, we will load the oats back on the blue ball. Hey, blue ball. Now do you take the oats to the store? Well, why don't we see? Those are gross. I guess unless you're a horse. Right, buddy? Why are they so gross to humans? Quick, Dick! Why are they gross to humans? Well, that's a pretty good question there, little quick. Well, that's because oats have a thing called a hull on the outside of them. It's like a protective shell, and we only want the inside part of the oat. It's good to eat. But could you imagine having to take the holes off of all of these oats? We're gonna have to take them to somebody else. Step two, the trucker. Let's go trucking. right here in Saskatchewan, we just go an hour down the highway to Yorkton and we unload them at Grain Millers. Let's go check it out. Ha! Would you look at the time and we're just getting to Grain Millers? How are we going to squeeze this into this episode? Why don't you just make a part two? Would you guys be okay with that? Well, yeah. So be it. We shall resume this next Monday at 6 a.m. where we will complete Little Quick's episode for an Ode to Oats. It would appear Crick Dick has found the root of his problem. <laughs> well then, I guess until next time, this is Quick Dick McDick signing off, reminding you to laugh often and to be kind and to try hard in everything you do. But I guess the most important thing is to come back next Monday for part two. We'll see you then.